It's your boy DJ Triple Six. Make sure y'all download the Slab All Stars mobile app. The number one chop and screw mobile app in the world. 24 hour chopped radio, 24 hour chopped music videos, and 24 hour chopped on demand MP3 content at your fingertips. Just go to Google Play or the App Store. It's your motherfucking boy DJ Triple Six, man. Hey guys, what is going on? This is your boy DJ Triple Six. Do not mind this screen right here. This is just my overlay so I can make this video for you guys. Today, we are going to be exploring some amazing things. You already know why you're here. Let me get through this one minute intro. We're going to cut right through the bullshit. If you guys hear any background noise, I do have kids and they like to argue. So I do apologize. I'm going to do my best to make sure the audio on this is good. My microphone is just not working today. So I'm recording this while... I am recording this while I'm doing this, and I'm also recording it on my phone to see which one has the best audio, so bear with me. Now then, if you have the HP Pavilion GeForce GTX 1650, then this is the motherfucking video for you. But even if it's not, you can apply this to all PCs, okay? all pcs but today i'm really trying to help the laptop users today but you can apply this across the board to all pcs laptops or desktops and i have heard the 2021 model of the hp pavilion geforce gtx 1650 i have heard the 2021 model has a ryzen amd processor right now right now i will pull up uh, my you guys and show you what i have i have the intel core i5 9300h processor i have heard the 2021 model like i said has the amd ryzen processor so if you guys have that one and apply these settings please drop in the comments and let me know how it works for you it should work very very well as i said this applies to all pcs but i'm very curious to see how it's going to work for you now then uh, this video is great if you have the complete stock model that only has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD. I have upgraded mine to 32 gigabytes of RAM and 1.5 terabyte SSD, but that does not matter. I used all of these exact same programs and settings and everything before I ever upgraded a single thing on this computer. So do not worry. And I want to stress, nothing in this video nothing that you do is going to hurt your computer i would not let you guys fry your computers okay i do care i know these fucking things cost money just follow what i do it's super simple okay now then we're gonna we're gonna start off simple and then we're gonna work up to advanced and trust me we will get into some advanced shit so the first thing i want you guys to do before we get into these tasks before this you should have made sure that you have gotten rid of all the bullshit on the computer you don't want so to do that go to settings go to apps apps and features and make sure you guys just delete any any of these dumbass apps that you're not using okay there was quite a few I deleted mine had like omen gaming hub and stuff like that that I didn't use if you guys use that that's cool but I deleted mine so just make sure y'all just just get rid of that shit okay you can do the same go over here to your search bar and go to your control panel and go to programs and features and do the same just get rid of any fucking programs you guys aren't using like i said especially if you have the stock model with only 256 gigabyte ssd now then we're going to get into it we'll start with some simple stuff i'm running windows 11 you guys uh, but if you have Windows 10, don't worry. They're pretty identical from what I've seen. On Windows 10, I guess you can right-click right on the desktop and it will show your NVIDIA panel, the shortcut to get into it. Mine doesn't have that. And if yours doesn't either, that's okay. I recommend pinning all the stuff you use most frequently to your taskbar. See, I have NVIDIA right here. But if you guys don't, you can click right here on this Show Hidden Icons button, okay? And your NVIDIA will look like this. All right, so we're going to right click it and we're going to go into our NVIDIA GeForce experience. OK, let that pop up. These are all the games I play. Top left corner, you're going to see drivers. Make sure you guys check for updates. Click on that check for updates button. It is critical that you guys have the latest drivers and stuff like that, as obviously it's going to affect game performance and things of that nature trust me you guys always make sure your drivers are updated once you've done that you got the latest drivers go ahead and exit out of that we're gonna go right back to the nvidia control panel again we're gonna right click and now we're gonna go to the actual nvidia control panel 
okay let it pop up let it pop up come on you sexy beast i'm running warzone in the background so it's really hogging a lot of my cpu and stuff now then top left corner we're going to go to the first tab which is adjust image settings with preview okay make sure you click on the middle icon use the advanced 3d image settings once you have that clicked bottom right corner it should say apply mine doesn't because i already did it but make sure you guys always hit that apply button we're going to go back to the top left corner to the manage 3d settings and i want you guys to exactly copy everything i have here okay to do that so for this first one image sharpening we're going to right click give it a second give it a second and this little arrow should pop up make sure it's turned on put your sharpening value to 0 0.50 and your ignore film grain to a value of 0 0.17 once you have done that go ahead and click ok and if i'm ever going too fast you guys can slow this video down if it's on youtube you can always pause it and you can rewind it remember that all right now then we're going to fly through these ambient occlusion performance anastrophic filtering application controlled anti-aliasing fx aa is off anti-aliasing gamma correction is on anti-aliasing mode application controlled anti-aliasing settings application controlled anti-aliasing transparency is off background application max frame rate is off CUDA GPUs is all low latency mode is ultra you can set it to high or ultra I recommend ultra uh, like I said just copy my settings exactly max frame rate is off I'll give you guys a second to make it like catch up if you haven't okay like I said you can always pause this video now we're going to scroll down We left off on max frame rate, which was off. Multi-frame sampled AA is off. Open GL rendering GPU. Make sure you have your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 selected. Power management mode. Prefer maximum performance. Shader cache size unlimited. Texture filtering anastopic sample on. Texture filtering negative LOD bias is allow. Texture filtering quality quality is high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization is on. Threaded optimization is auto. Triple buffering is off. Vertical sync use the 3D application settings. Give you guys a second to look at that again. Okay. The last two virtual reality pre-rendered frames one virtual reality variable rate super sample is off now then after you've done all that on the bottom right it should say apply as always like i said bottom right make sure you guys click apply you can go through all of these settings and then click apply at the end you do not have to do it one by one where you change one and click apply you don't have to do that change them all and then do apply Okay, go back to the top left, configure surround physics. Now then, make sure your processor is set to your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. I believe by default it's set to auto select. We don't want that, that is garbage. If you see some different stuff here than what mine has, that is because I'm using my computer, my computer's monitor, just my basic monitor on my laptop. If you guys have an external monitor, you will see some other settings here. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys any advice on that as it's just for the monitor and things like that. Uh, we're not going to get into that. No matter what, it's not going to affect your FPS, okay? Let's keep it pushing, keep it pushing. And after you change this, if it says apply at the bottom right corner, as always, make sure you guys click apply. Once we're done, we can go ahead and exit out of that completely. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to go into the settings tab again go to gaming all right and if you guys the settings is different than mine you can go directly to the search bar and type in gaming game mode settings will pop up i recommend having game mode on okay so go to your search bar type in game and game and you know all this pop up all right go back to gaming again all right 
and now we are going to fuck with the xbox control or the xbox game bar make sure this is turned off i've never seen a situation where i needed this if you want to play xbox go play xbox we are on pc boys okay turn that off as it's going to save you some cpu especially if you have the stock 256 ssd so make sure that's turned off right below here we have graphics okay we're going to go into the graphics tab and like I said, if you can't find this in the settings, you can go to the search bar, type in graphics, graphics settings, and boom, we are right back, okay? Now then, you are going to click on anything you want to run high performance, your games and apps that you want to run high performance, okay? Uh, my game, I have my game set to high performance, and I believe like my movies and TV and uh, my video editor that that is literally it so what you do is you click on it click options click high performance okay you are then going to click save I don't need to as I have already done all this so click it options high performance mode do that for all your games and we're gonna keep it pushing boys keep it pushing now then we're gonna go back to the search bar and we're gonna go to power plan edit power plan we went to the edit power plan yours should look like this if you're on Windows 11 if you're not uh, like I said I believe on Windows 10 it's pretty similar but either way once you're in the power plan thing you're gonna click right here power options now chances are you guys do not have ultimate performance mode and I that is okay I'm going to show you how to get the ultimate performance mode. So do not worry Chances are by default all you guys have is the balance and the HP recommended. So what we're gonna do right now We're gonna minimize this. We're gonna open our internet browser We're gonna go to Google and we're gonna type in unlock ultimate power plan command prompt okay so once you have that popped up go down here to your computer's search bar and type in command prompt once you see that pop up right click it and run it as an administrator you're going to see this pop up now once you have right clicked and run it as an administrator and you get the command prompt popped up right here on step four it says in command prompt window type the following command all you have to do is highlight it I'm not sure if that period needs to be in there or not I can't remember if it doesn't work try highlighting it without the period but um, I think the period is part of it so highlight it copy it go back to your command prompt window and all you got to do is click it and paste it once you paste it, click enter, and it should automatically unlock ultimate performance mode. So now we can go back to power options and you should instantly see ultimate performance mode. Google recommends a reboot, but I didn't have to reboot mine. Uh, you guys really shouldn't have to either, especially if we're on, you're on the same system as me. But like I said, copy and paste this, drop it into the command prompt, and then press enter. You have to press enter to get it to work. I didn't have to reboot my system, so ignore number seven. If you really want to reboot, you can. Once ultimate performance is unlocked, obviously make sure it's checked, and then go ahead and exit out of that. You can also exit out of your internet browser. <clears throat> like I said, guys, I really apologize for the audio. Now then, we're gonna go back to our search bar and we're gonna type in the following, which is A D V. So alpha duck vagina <laughs> underscore options period I N I A D V underscore options dot I N I. And you should see this pop up right here. Go ahead and click on it. You're gonna see a notepad style format pop up and about five things down you'll see set a target fraction of your PC's video memory to be used by the game. You can do a value of zero all the way up to two. I recommend doing 1.9. So by default, I believe you guys just look like this, which is 0 0.9. I think yours probably looks like this right now, which is the 0 0.9, okay? Do not worry about that. Make sure you keep the quotations, all right? So all you gotta do is click it, backspace and type in 1.9 okay 
Don't press enter or nothing like that. Do not press enter. Just type in the 1.9 between the, these two quotations, okay? Right below that, you will see thread count for handling the job queue, renderer, worker count. You can do negative one to 16. I have found a value of nine works the best. So just backspace between the quotations and type nine. Once you have done both of these things, go up to file, click save, and you are done, my man, with that anyway. Now, we're going to start getting into the more advanced stuff. That was a little bit advanced as well. So what we are going to do, I need you guys to download the following programs, which is MSI Afterburner, which will also come with River Tuner. So MSI Afterburner, and it will also come with River Tuner, okay? Make sure you have the River Tuner box selected while you're when you're downloading it so all you do is go to google go to google <laughs> type in msi afterburner you know use whatever you want to download it and like i said uh during the download process you will see an option to download river tuner as well make sure you guys download the river tuner as you're going to need it we are also going to need to download throttle stop this is called throttle stop as you can see in the bottom right corner i have it highlighted throttle stop so do the same process go to google download throttle stop all that good shit okay throttle stop so once you get the throttle stop option downloaded and all of that you can uh, get out of your browser first thing we are going to open is throttle stop I don't have anything running, so we're going to do this together. Open your throttle stop. Open your throttle stop. You should get a prompt like this. If you don't, that's fine too. Open it up. This is throttle stop, okay? Now, I want you guys to copy everything I'm doing. On the left side, check BD Pro Shot. Pro Shot. I don't know, I don't know what the wording means, but this is what you need to check. I trust me you guys this this is what you need to check okay so check this also check speed step and also check c1e all you need is these three checked okay once you have done that click right here fivr fiber click on that we're going to be focusing on this middle tab right here okay the fiber control but also down here on the bottom left you will see turbo ratio limits these are for your cores this is once they are working and all of that good stuff i recommend copying how my cores are if you have the same laptop as me with four gigabytes of vram okay so we got a value of 41 41 40 and 40. i recommend copying mine if yours is not the same 41 max okay now then, like I said, we're going to be focusing on the middle section, fiber control. There is five tabs. You have the CPU core. You also have the Intel GPU. Also have the CPU catch. Also have the iGPU unslice and system agent. They are all going to be exactly the same. This is super easy, I promise you. So start one by one and go down here to offset voltage, you guys. Okay. You're going to want a value of negative 50. It'll automatically put it to negative 50.8 don't worry about that 0.8 and like i said it's going to be the same for all of them see all of them my offset value is negative 50.8 super easy all right so once you get all of that done and all of them are set to negative 50.8 on the offset voltage make sure all of your stuff looks the same as mine disable and lock turbo power limits checked thermal velocity boost is checked ring down bin is checked vmax stress is checked and most importantly save voltages immediately okay click apply always click that apply and then click okay congratulations you have just under voltage your cp your computer minimize it we are not going to exit out of it we are going to minimize it and the purpose of this is to undervolt your computer undervolting is badass because normally your computer runs at one volt we just took it down so it is using less voltage so therefore less heat will be produced and you would think that would affect performance it doesn't you actually get a performance boost which is incredible because when your seat when your uh, gpu and stuff like that starts heating up your performance actually starts going down as it's trying to correct itself so with lower temperatures you can have more performance which is fantastic 
Next, we're going to go to MSI Afterburner. Go ahead and get that up. Go ahead and get that open. You should get a prompt like this. If you don't, once again, that's okay. Open it up. Now then, I have upgraded my computer to 32 gigs of RAM and 1.5 terabyte SSD. I run values of up to 200 sometimes. For you guys, I want you guys to run a value of 120. So the easiest way to do this is to click it and use the arrow keys on your computer and just move that bad boy up to one from 100 to 120 whatever you guys prefer you can do 100 you can do 105 106 all the way up to 120 that is my recommendation for you guys so the core clock and the memory clock we're going to set to values of 120 this little check mark right here go ahead and check it this will not hurt your computer this is called overclocking. Overclocking can hurt your computer, but that is only when you mess with the voltage and the fan. We are not going to be messing with either of those. And also, if you're on a laptop like me, they're locked and there's no way to mess with them, okay? All we're doing is messing with our clock speeds. Once you have done that, make sure that is checked. Up here in the top right corner, you will see this little blue icon. Make sure you click it and it's, it turns blue. That means upon startup, it will work. Apply a Windows startup, okay? We are going to minimize this so it runs in the background, okay? Now let's say you're ever in a scenario where you restart your PC and your MSI afterburner and nothing else is comes back on, all right? So let's say you restart your PC and your throttle stop isn't on, your MSI afterburner is not on. All you gotta do okay is reopen them everything will already automatically be set so you don't have to mess with it again okay all you do is reopen them and minimize them right so we just reopened MSI all I do is click make sure you still got that at 120 click it so it like refreshes real quick and then click that check mark. Make sure it's always highlighted blue. Minimize. Super simple. All your values get saved. So all you got to do is reopen them. And now when you go look, they will be running in the background. Finally, we're going to be going to River Tuner. And once we get into, I'm going to be using Warzone as an example, but this applies to all games. I'm going to show you guys how to get the best Warzone, Warzone uh, FPS and stuff like that, though. So we're going to go to River Tuner Statistics Server. Go ahead and open that up. Mine doesn't usually pop up. If you actually look, mine pops up down here in the bottom right. All I got to do is click on it and it pops up. All right. Now, this is used for a threshold for your FPS and stuff like that. It is better to use this than the ones in the game. The ones inside of games are trash. Okay. Do not use those, you guys. Do not use those. Now then. All yours will probably say is global. See, I have the Modern Warfare one right here. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys how to get that. You have to remember where you put your program files at the end of the day, folks. So click on add. And then you're going to go and find the program folder where your stuff is at. Mine is custom set. So mine is going to be completely different than yours. Right. So I have my Warzone folder and stuff. Once I get it open, I'm going to click right here on Modern Warfare. I'm going to click on that and then get it opened up. Okay. However many times it wants you to click open, just keep clicking it and get the Modern Warfare to be the one. Okay. Modern Warfare EXE. We're going to go to Application Detection Level Medium. And then right here on Frame Rate Limit, you can set it to whatever you want. Now, like I said, my monitor is 60 hertz. So 60 frames a second is really all I'm going to average, okay? But I can actually, with these settings, I can get mine boosted up to 100. But I put mine at a value of 80. If you guys have the 2021 version with the 144 uh, hertz, type in a value of 160, okay? So if you have the 2021 model, do a value of 160. If you have the one that's like mine that only has a 60 hertz monitor, type in 80. Congratulations, you have just set a threshold. Minimize. Remember, guys, keyword here is always minimize. All right. The next thing I really recommend getting is a advanced task manager. Okay. I have this one. 
So to get this, all you would have to do is same steps, open your browser, go to Google and search it. I have the ISLC, just type in ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner and download it. It's a completely free download. Now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this. Once again, this will not hurt your computer. Once you guys have it downloaded, see right here at the top, it says total system memory. Mine is 32,609. That is because I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I believe uh, most of you probably have the stock eight gigabytes of RAM and stuff like that. That's why you're trying to get more out of computers. So mine says 32,000, right? I'm gonna go down here to free memory is lower than. So this value needs to be half of this top value. So my total memory is 32,000. You don't gotta worry about the 609. 32,000, okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna go to 32,000. So my total system memory value is 32,000. So down here, I'm gonna type in half of my value, which is 16,000, okay? So if you guys have only 8,000, you're gonna come down here and type in 4,000. If you have 16,000, you're going to come down here and half it to 8,000. So whatever your total system memory is, do half of that. Okay, you guys? Super simple, super easy. All right? Uh, for the ISLC polling rate, I recommend 500. Make sure you enable custom timer resolution. Make sure that's checked. Wanted timer resolution, do 0 0.50. And now we're going to click start and we're gonna click purge standby. Look at that, that just killed everything that we don't need in the background. A couple things will restart, but look at, we only have 175 megabytes, 176, you know what I'm saying? We have under 200 megabytes being used in the background. That is fantastic. Remember, like I said, none of this will hurt your computer. So remember, total system memory, mine is 32,000. So I have to divide that by two, cut it in half, Come down here and type whatever half is and the free memory is lower than, okay? So always half, super easy. ISC polling rate, 500. Make sure this is checked. Enable custom resolution, timer resolution. Wanted timer resolution, 0 0.50. Start, purge, standby, okay? Next thing we are going to do is open up our task manager. So hold down these three keys at once. Control, Alt, Delete. Open up your task manager. Okay. These are my processes currently going. I have 63 background processes. We're not going to worry about that. Ooh, look at this sexy performance. Anyway, we are going to go over here to... Hold on. I have to remember. It's details. Okay, so over here, we're going to go to details, whatever programs or games you want to have priority. I'm just going to use this top one as an example. So find whatever games or programs you want. Okay, say it's Modern Warfare, say it's Black Ops, say it's Halo. I'm going to use this top one as an example. Click on it, right click, set priority and set your priority as high. I'm not going to do that because this is just an example. I don't want to set this for high, but in you guys' case, for whatever program or game that you want to have high priority on your processor and things like that, you're going to select high, okay? Next thing we're going to do, that that's, that's literally it. You're just putting all your priority levels to high. Super simple. Next thing we're going to do is go to startup, and this is when your computer starts up, okay? You're going to disable everything you do not want to start up with your computer. They will still work if you open them, but this is just the startup phase. You're going to right click and you're going to click disable. Mine says enable because I've already disabled everything. You're going to right click and click disable right here. Yours, yours will say disable. Disable all the bullshit you do not want starting up with your computer, which is going to save you a lot of time on startup and things like that. Okay. Uh, performance man that's some sexy performance congratulations you have gotten through the, that step now now finally and but not least we are going to go into our battle net 
get that opened up. Top left corner on the Battle.net icon, go ahead and click it, go to settings, all right? Right on this first one under general, on game launch, exit Battle.net completely. So when you launch your game, you will exit Battle.net completely, which will free up a lot of CPU and things like that. Make sure you have both of these set to exit Battle.net completely. Then we're gonna scroll down under advanced features, browser hardware acceleration make sure that is turned off so make sure both of these boxes are not checked okay i believe once you click it and turn it off it's going to ask you to restart just click restart later and do a restart once we are done with this video okay after that you're going to click done and now we're going to jump into warzone and i will show you guys the best settings for that that will go along with everything we've just done I'm sure a lot of you do play Warzone, so these will apply to you. Um, when I play Halo, I can run everything on Ultra and Halo Infinite. Uh, when I play my game, I didn't quit out properly last time, so that's why that popped up. When I play Halo, I can run it on Ultra everything. When I play Vanguard, I can run it on Ultra everything. Warzone, uh, from what I've seen, is the most... It, it really sucks. It really sucks the power out of your PC. So that's why we're gonna focus on Warzone in this one. Every other game is small potatoes compared to Warzone as far as sucking power out of your computer. And then after this Warzone thing, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing that Nvidia has now built into its um, GeForce experience, which is super dope. So even after this Warzone tab, we're still not gonna be done. So make sure you guys stay all the way to the end so you can get the maximum performance that I'm offering you. All right, let this load up. Everything is real time, okay? I'm just using my mouse and keyboard. We're gonna go to options, graphics. For your display mode, you always want full screen, not full screen borderless or full screen extended, just full screen okay you guys i don't have a display monitor i'm using my computer's monitor display adapter it's obviously my graphics card screen refresh rate like i said i only have 60 hertz make sure it's turned up to your max value render resolution a lot of people tell you to fuck with this they're stupid don't fuck with this it does not really change anything it might make it a little bit more clear like i have some extra vram where i could turn this up but you guys like that ass i've never needed to but right under that click on the advanced tab and make sure you have your max display resolution available mine is 1920 by 1080 now dynamic resolution enabled okay and this is where that river tuner stuff comes into play make sure you have dynamic resolution turned on and right under it i have mine set to 70. so on river tuner i put the frame rate limit to 80 and on dynamic resolution for the game, I want 70. So I want the game to try to consistently push 70 frames and then River Tuner is gonna block it at 80 frames. So you want a, a value of between 10, okay? My computer's starting to die, so I'm gonna whiz through this for you guys. You know what I'm saying, you get it? And if you have the 144 Hertz monitor, you did 160 on River Tuner. So put this to like 140, okay? Really, you guys can set it to whatever you want. I do mine 70 on here and 80 on River Tuner. You get what I'm saying? River Tuner is the cap. And then on this, this is the targeted amount you want the computer to try to push. Aspect ratio, wide 16.9. Sync every frame disabled. Custom frame rate unlimited. The brightness, set it to whatever you want. I set mine to 62. Display gamma, 2.2 if you're using a monitor. 1886 if you're using a TV. Turn the NVIDIA highlights the fuck off. NVIDIA reflex low latency enabled plus boost that's going to give you the most and it's going to make your graphics card try to do the maximum at all times. Once you have done that, down here it will say apply. Like I told you guys, always click apply, all right? Once you have applied that, go over here to quality, field of view, I know everybody likes to argue about this. For the best frames per second, your value is going to be 90. 
The sweet spot is from 90 to 110. Do not do 120 as it is garbage. So at max, do a value of 110, but I have found 90 has the best frames per second, and that is all I need. Camera movement, at least 50. <clears throat> ADS field view independent streaming quality low texture resolution normal texture fil filter anastropic normal particle quality high bullet impacts and sprays disabled tessellation near dismemberment and gore effects disabled okay on demand texture streaming disabled and with that disabled you're not going to need to mess with anything under the advanced tab okay filmic strength Put a value of 1.00, film grain 0, anti-aliasing, SMAA1X, okay? A lot of people like to argue what's best. SMAA1X is the best that I've found. Depth of field, disabled. World motion blur, disabled. Weapons motion blur, disabled. Shadow map resolution, extra, boys. We want that extra. Catch shadow, catch spot shadows, enabled. Catch sun shadows enabled. Particle lighting low. Ray tracing mine is locked, but even if yours is unlocked, you want that bad boy disabled, folks. Disable it. Ambient occlusion is disabled, and screen space reflection is low. And once you have copied all of my settings, always click apply. Okay, we're gonna back out of here real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that Nvidia has put in. So on your keyboard, you're gonna hold down. Alt and Z. Alt and Z. Okay. Z as in zebra. So click Alt Zebra. Alt Z. Okay. Literally the Alt tab and the Z tab. It's not hard, you guys. And then you're going to go right here to performance. Now, see this? You guys might not have the performance tuning option available yet. And I'm going to show you how to get that. That is the point of what we're doing right here. Okay. Look at my memory clock is just flying, baby. Now then, to get this turned on, all you got to do is the following, okay? But when you do get it turned on, just click Enable Automatic Tuning. Click that, and it will do a scan. The scan takes about 20 minutes, but it's going to give you some extra boost, okay? If you guys... It, Sorry guys, my PC battery's running low, so we're gonna hurry this up. Oh, 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 sorry. So, like I said, once you get this working, make sure you turn that on. It's gonna do a scan for about 20 minutes, let it scan and do its thing, okay? Now, to get into that, all you gotta do is go down here, go to your NVIDIA, right click, go to the GeForce Experience, let that pop up. We're gonna to try to make this quick as my PC is dying. I don't have it plugged in. We're gonna go right here to the settings tab. Right here, Exper enable experimental features. Make sure you turn that on. Once you turn it on, I think it might make you do a restart. I can't remember, but that is how you enable the performance tuning. So that's all you got to do is enable experimental features. Like I said, this will not hurt your PC in any way. So turn on the experimental features, click Alt. Once you have turned, them, turned on the experimental features, click Alt and Z. Pop that bad boy back up for the performance tab. And now you can do the enable automatic tuning. Up. I would give you guys a demo of how good the frames work, but unfortunately with Streamlabs open and me screen recording this, it is sucking up a lot of processor power and things like that. So I can't really get the true amount, you know what I'm saying? Like right now I'm only getting 35 FPS. That is because I am screen recording, okay? But trust me, you guys, once you do this and you jump into the game, you'll be like, holy shit, dude, my shit is fast. It is fast as hell. Let me quit to the de desktop. And like I said, guys, make sure your shaders are always 100% complete and stuff like that. You obviously are going to want your shaders to be completely installed. You know what I'm saying?
if you guys went all the way through this video i very much appreciate y'all and like i said these are the settings i have been running and i am getting the best performance i've ever seen it's your boy six